Good morning. Today I want to make head cheese. But Bavarian head cheese is not a sulza. It's completely different. You will find out in a minute. I made this sausage many times. I normally put them in cans, but today I want to go cans, glasses, and casings. I have here big thing. Big the first thing is pork meat. You can take also some beef or venison in it, and it should about be half and half lean and fat. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> then the recipe of my what I would do it. I take some kidneys, whatever I have handy. Three little hearts for my little pigs, few tongues, and head meat. So I cut that in small pieces and that goes in there later on after I grind that to a meat grinder. And then there come also about 20% of boiled pork skin in there. I forgot to say this cup head meat on the dogs, the, the tongues on the kidney and that stuff that was uh, cooked. And I cook it in a little bit salt water so it looks a little reddish already. I have the last piece left over to cut yet and I want to show you how it goes. Normally you go like this, but you don't really see what you're doing. I want to show that once. What I do is hold the meat and hold my fingers, cook it. So then I can go with a knife in front of it and I don't have to look, I can cut it without looking. So that's what I do here. As you see, the meat is really soft, so it's easy to cut. Just go like this, and go with the fingers slowly back, and go up and down on the finger. You don't have to look. It's easier to show on raw meat. Now I quick brought my powder scale out, I wanted to check my garlic and this is about a 10 gram, that's 1 gram per pound. Now I'm working on my garlic, I couldn't find the press, so I just use and rub it like this. I put some salt in from my recipe, the salt, and rub it for a while. That makes it also real fine. Now I got my meat grinder out and I want to grind the meat for the press cup to a 5 millimeter. I saw it once how it looks like. It's about that heavy. Now I have some pork skin pre-cooked and hot. And I got it in my, we call it a skin sack. Probably not very much known over here either. There's like a nylon sack where you can put small stuff in it when you cook it. And just put that through here one time. Now I transferred it in a bigger bowl so I can mix it better. I got a cut piece, the cut meat in already, and the skin. So now I add a little hot bouillon, but I cooked the meat in in it. I got about the half a liter here. I weighed it. It's 500 grams, and now you mix it good. Now I almost forgot the most important thing. I put some rum in there. I never weighed it or measured it before, but I want to do it today so you got an idea how much I put in. I put it on the scale. Let's see how much I got. That's only 60 gram. I think I go to 100 gram. That's 10 gram per pound or a little less because I put other stuff in there. 
and then I mix it good. Now comes the thing, how do you mix it? Maybe you saw my other movies. Normally you go and mix it this way. I don't do it that way. I go up and down. And since it is so soft, and each time you go down, you go like this. This is where you mix the top and the bottom. We call it rubbing. Now I started putting the press cup in the casing. As you see there I got two bigger ones and one little long one. But now the rest I want to put in uh, solid containers. That means cans or jars. And the cans is very simple. And since they can't, you can fill them up all the way to the top. you cannot fill up. Just like that. Now I want to show how close how I close the cans. Just put it in there, put the handle down. And you normally you're supposed to turn it by hand. But I'm old. I don't I get tired too fast. I got it set up for a drill. That's it. One more. Press it down. I should say this. I have quite a long experience with cans. When I was probably 12, 13 years old, we had a canning machine at home in Germany already. My father went from home slaughtering to home slaughtering and closed the cans. The last thing to do, put a name on it, otherwise you don't know what's in it. I like to talk about my flavor. It tastes very good. I made it many times. It was not new for me. But I like the rum in it. It tastes very good to me. We normally fold it up and eat it without a bread. Good appetit. I'd like to show one more time a close shot from this sausage. It's called Bavarian Breskopf. <laughs>